machine learning has a lot more than we talked about, but we think that's enough talking. Let's start doing, and you will understand more while practicing and seeing the process in front of you step by step. But first, let's talk about Python a little bit. Python is a great language when dealing with machine learning. It has so many useful packages that uh, we can use to create our machine learning model. Let's see some of these packages in action. First, NumPy. NumPy is the fundamental package for scientific computing with Python. It has tons of functionalities in, in statistics and mathematics. Make sure you have it in your machine using pip install NumPy. So in the command line, I'll type the command pipe install NumPy. Hit enter. Wait for it to download and install. I already have it. So let's import NumPy and play with it. MP is the most uh, famous alias for NumPy and uh, we will go with that uh, most of uh, the time in this course. And the most powerful point in NumPy is the array. So the command np.array has the attributes and properties that uh, will make you love it. Let's check them. Let's put a equals np dot array parentheses and let's create a list and remember that we should use the brackets here so one comma two comma three comma four comma five comma six that's enough for now so for simplicity, we call them ND arrays, uh, short uh, for number of dimensions. Since we can make them in any number of dimensions, uh, let's save this uh, file here and let's just call it arrays.py. I'll save it somewhere here. And now I can go to the Python shell, open that file and play with it a bit. When saving the file, I should just put the um, codes. So arrays.py between codes. And so uh, I'm going to add a few lines here. So we can print uh, the arrays number of dimensions by calling a dot nd number of dimensions, so ndim, and let's print that. We can also, before that, we can try printing a itself. So I'll print a, and then here, I'm going to print this expression. So print, and now let's try and run this. So here we have the array A, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the number of dimensions is one. Let's come back to the file and let's find its shape. So we can just print a dot shape. Oops, got a typo here. And let's run it. So a five, save it and run it. So this time here we have uh, the array a one two three four five, the number of dimensions one, and the shape. Another powerful feature of NumPy arrays is that we can change the shape of an existing array. So for example, a one-dimensional array forming it to two dimensions and vice versa. So np.arrays has a function called reshape for this process. The function nump.array.reshape takes the new shape of the array as a tuple. So rows number, comma columns number, and returns a new copy of the array with the new shape. Let's try this out. 
So I'm going to uh, open up the file here. So b equals a dot reshape uh, reshape and this time let's put the tuple 3 comma 2 and let's try to check b I've well, we got a typo here so I said b equals and then now we can print b so let's run this here we go so we have a and then the number of dimensions and the shape and now we have b so b is the new array created by reshaping a if you would now we can check the shape of b so uh, let's print b dot shape and guess what so it won't be uh, a six elements in 1d array it says three comma two it means three rows and two columns now i have a question for you what if you wanted to change a value in b like this so b zero zero guess what's going to happen so let's print b and check so print b oh the change in b were applied here so the value here has changed now it's 15 what do you think will happen to a let's try to check this out so print a and see what did happen let me run the code here we go so yeah the change in b will apply the, to a2 NumPy is very efficient. Uh, it eliminates uh, processes whenever possible. That's why B is not an independent copy from A. It's just a new view. So if you want uh, an independent copy, we will use the uh, method dot copy. So let's do that. Let me go back to the script here and I'm going to create uh, so C equals A dot reshape and let's open the parentheses here so three comma two close the parentheses and then i'm going to call the method dot copy so it takes no parameters now now let's print c here we go so uh, maybe it's better to eliminate uh, the first three, four lines of code. But anyway, so we just printed C and it's a true real copy of A, as you can see here. So we printed A, this is the first line. And then we printed the number of dimensions and then the shape of A, that's here. So that's here then we create b we printed it so here this is b and then in the next line we changed the value here to be 15 and that's the output we uh, print a again so here is the value of a and then we used the method copy to create a copy of a that is assigned to the variable c and then we printed the variable c so here is it so now if we try to change a it won't affect c and vice versa let's put c index one zero equals to 50 and then let's print C let me run the code here we go so here is the new value of C now let's check if it is the same as a so I'm going to print a 
let me just remove a few lines here. We don't need to print B, we don't need to print dimensions of A, we don't need to print its shape, we don't need to print it at all. The last thing we did here is uh, to print the variable A, and as you can see, changing this value in C didn't affect the value that's uh, in the first index in the variable A. So an important property for in the arrays is operations propagation. It means simple operations can be applied over all the elements one by one and it's super fast. So here let me print A multiplied by 2. Let's save and run. And so here you see that we multiplied all the values in the array A by 2. So 15 multiplied by 2, and then 2 multiplied by 2, and 3 multiplied by 2, that's 6, and then 4 multiplied by 2, that's 8, and so on. So this multiplies all the elements in the array A by 2. And similarly, if we try print a to the power of 2. Guess what's going to happen? Let me run the code. And here we go. So as you can see, this raised the power of all the elements in the array A to the power of 2. So 15 to the power of 2, 3 to the power of 2 is 9, and uh, as you can tell, 6 to the power of 2 is 36, etc. So that's interesting, right? Remember with the Python list, let me just um, create a list and let me put the same values. So 15, comma 2, comma 3, comma 4, comma 5, and comma 6. And let's print this list to the power of 2 guess what's going to happen so this is not possible with the regular uh, lists in Python and as you can see here we have a syntax error that's all for this lecture thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one about indexing